This video is about warm beer and pine trees. About 40 years ago, camping to me was uh, just a place to go out with your buddies and party, get drunk in the woods. Um, after that, I thought about it and I really wanted to go out there to, uh, to see nature, not, not to party. Uh, although I do bring uh, the odd beer with me, um, I'm not out there to get drunk. I'm, I'm there to enjoy nature. What a mess. I think there's some cleaning in my future. Those solar panels aren't going to do anything worth a darn like that. Well, fortunate for me, I'm by a stream, and I just happen to have this handy little pump that I made for my shower. Uh, combined with just hooking it up to my Jeep, I can uh, clean this off. There we go. This is kind of my just get out of town and smell the pines kind of trip. A little bit of camping and a logging area, nothing special. Uh, but I wanted to try out a few improvements I made, some modifications, and this new camera. So that was a good enough excuse to get out of town. Well, you've all been really kind, but in reality, it was time for me to get a new camera. I didn't like the quality of a lot of my images, uh, the video, and especially the sound. Um, I'm using old, crappy, beat-up, used cameras, uh, and I don't want to be known as the guy that only uses old, beat-up cameras. I think that's had its time. Not only that, the camera I'm using in this video is my old Canon G15. It's basically had its day. I can't hear the video, I can't hear the video anymore when I play it back. There's a big scratch on its lenses, so... It's time I switched. I uh, bit the bullet, sold a kidney, well not really, but in any case I saved up my pennies and I bought a real camcorder. This is a Sony FDR AX33. Beautiful camera. Uh, has a viewfinder so if I don't bring my glasses I actually can see the image because when these camcorders are just like this I can't see a damn thing. I gotta put my glasses on. So yeah I'm an old guy or I'm getting there uh, I need something I can see. This is a quality camera. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over on the tripod, let you see the difference, and you can tell me if you think it's worth the price. Okay, so here's the FDR AX33. And of course the sun keeps going in and out, so it's hard to do an exact comparison. Not only that, but I'm right by a a road, a dirt road, and there's a lot of traffic going by. There's a river in the background. But then again, not every situation is going to be ideal, and that's what I need a camera for anyway. But uh, let's give this a go. You tell me what the quality's like. I didn't, I'm not shooting in 4K. I'm only shooting in high def. So uh, I'll do a comparison, and uh, we'll see what you think. So I'm still trying to perfect my stabilizer. Um, if you've noticed, I actually have two large flashlights under here, uh, which I'm using for uh, ballast. But anyway, what I'm trying going to do, uh, the camera that uh, I'm, I'm filming with now is the old Canon. I'm going to walk through here to the edge and peer over the cliff with the stabilizer and also just with the Canon by, by itself. So let me try it with the uh, 
with the Sony first and see how far I've got and then we can compare it with if I just walked over with a, with a normal camera. Well I tried this and it looked very long and boring so instead here's a side-by-side -side with the Canon and no stabilizer on the left and the new Sony with the stabilizer on the right. So I think you'll agree, the stabilizer does make a big difference. Now, now for a really scary, scary story. story. When I started off the trip, I put the new thermostat in. I had to take my cooler out. So I took my cooler out and I unwired it, finished my wiring, put it back. No big deal, except when I connected it again, I reversed the wires 180 degrees. So before I headed out to camp, I put all my, my veggies, my food, and my malt beverages in the fridge. Waited a few hours until it was a nice evening. I thought, you know, it's nice for a cold one right now. Opened up the fridge. The beers were all warm and the hash browns were hot. I put this stupid thing, by mistake, on heat mode, not cool. So I had probably the only one within 150 miles that had warm beer. And that's a scary thought. I mean, geez, I am Canadian, you know. But rest assured, my beer are cold again. So I've saved the camping trip. And I only have two beer. Now is that scary or what? I mean, there's two philosophies in life. Recycle and keep your beer cold. So I'm not a big fan of gizmos and stuff like that for videos, but every once in a while it's okay to improvise. So I wanted to show you a picture of my trailer. And then I wanted to show you the river. And I'll show you how I did that. So what I'm using here is my cheap Walmart trekking pole, a little bit of duct tape, and uh, an old tripod I picked up a garage sale with a, with a handle on it. And here's how it works. So I wanted to show you a picture of my trailer. And then I wanted to show you the river. That's it. Simple, but works. It's not that the food will taste any better cooked outdoors, it's just, it feels better. Why be cooped up in a trailer when you're out in the woods? I tend to eat a lot of beans. So installing ventilation fans in the trailer was a real good idea. Well, with a full stomach and I did the dishes, there's only one thing left. That's to enjoy that ice cold beer. Oh, I need this. Oh, it's so good. Oh. Well, now that it's getting dark, I can show you another little bling that I did. And uh, that's the new fans. When you turn them on, get LEDs. Cool or what? That's my bling. Not quite glamping yet, though. Well, that's it for this trip but please check for more videos to come. Happy camping!